All right, so I managed to get one hero to power level 150, and that is my Miss Marvel. But the big issue is leveling all of the other heroes power level up to the same kind of amount, which is really difficult, surprisingly. But I'm going to share with you a few tips that might help you succeed in getting your power level for other heroes up as quickly as possible. Now, this doesn't really follow the same method a lot of other people are suggesting online. So this is something that I've come up with, and it really works well for me, and I enjoy it a lot, so I keep doing it. I would also go far to say is that it's probably even a better method. So the first thing you want to do is when you open up the game, you do not want to go into the Avengers initiative. You instead actually want to go into the campaign. Don't ask me why, but there's this weird little thing that when you go into the Avengers initiative and you use a certain mission that I'm about to tell you, it will give you the power level for a mech hero rather than your actual hero. So you wouldn't be able to play it. And this is the Forest Elite Vault in the Pacific Northwest side of the map. Now, if you play on campaign and you go to the Forest Elite Vault, you'll see you should be able to play it with any hero of any power level. Challenge 1 will give you a matched kind of power level score, so you'll basically be doing the, the mission on the same difficulty that you're playing it on. You could probably push this up to Challenge 2 if you really are confident in your abilities and you really want the best results and you want to go far really quickly. The best way, the ultimate way, is to actually play on Challenge 4. The reason for this is you're going to be getting a lot of epic and legendary drops that are going to be pushing your gear score or your power level up by a huge amount each single time. And the perfect thing about this vault mission is that you're going to be regularly getting minor artifacts as well as normal gear. So you don't have to constantly step out and buy artifacts from one of the gear vendors until you get to like power level 100, 110, because then it starts becoming infrequent. All right, so what do you do in the vault mission? You actually do not go to the vault at all. I've actually made a video on this exact same <laughs> kind of mission before for farming legendaries at a high-end kind of game, which is the same thing. Now we're just taking it and we're using it to boost power level for lower heroes because you can still get that massive amount of items just playing a lower power level hero. It's also very important not to upgrade any of the items that you have below power level 130 because you're basically just wasting your resources and you're not going to be getting a new item replacement that is going to be higher than that. Because the way gear drops work is that you get a upgrade based on what you've received in the past. So if you get a power level 50 item and you upgrade it to 60, let's say, you're going to be getting an upgrade based on your 50 power level item. So you might get something like 51 to 59. And all you have to do is follow all the different checkpoints or the different question marks on your map, your points of interest, go to every single one and you'll be getting a silver chest multiple times, one gold chest and there will also be an elite enemy that you can kill for possibly some good loot. Generally when you can, it's also good to try and encounter and fight the harder enemies that you find, like the riot bots, the ones with shields, anything that looks particularly difficult to fight, it's actually really good to kill them because there's a high chance that they're going to drop a decent gear for you to use. If you have a really perfect run, you should be able to get this done in 10 minutes. After you get to that final objective, you can literally just hit the escape button, go to return to Quinjet, and you can basically restart the mission again to refarm. I was getting about 8 to 10 power level every single time I did this mission. That's that's a lot of power level for about like 15 minutes or so on average. This obviously depends if you can fly or if you play Captain America who takes forever to run everywhere. That's all I wanted to say guys. I hope this is a mission that seems suitable for you and it's one that you might enjoy actually doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you for watching.